When it comes to parrots, people that know parrots are like, you say you want a parrot that's not very loud, that doesn't bite, get a stuffed animal. <laughs> and there is an exception. And when I bring up the exception, they're like, oh yeah. What parrot is one of the best parrots you could possibly get? And what is that parrot like? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have 22 species of parrots. I love parrots. Parrots are my bliss and I love sharing my bliss with you to try to help you have a more blissful bond with your parrot because I think there's nothing better. If you're already accustomed to hanging out with my flock and I and being a part of my flock in that way, thank you for being here. I appreciate it and I love reading your comments. Today we're talking about a species of parrot that almost doesn't seem to exist. I've uh, attended lectures with people who have been in the parrot world for like 40 years and they're like yeah you know they're breeders and they're like I someone told me like a movie star came and said I want a parrot that's quiet and doesn't bite and and the breeders like doesn't exist but when I had the same conversation with someone who runs with Carrie who runs Bird Gardens of Naples um she goes yeah you know people want a parrot who's quiet and doesn't bite and I'm like and there is such a parrot it's a cape parrot she's like getting ready to go it doesn't exist oh she's like yeah you're right <laughs> and they all always agree cape parrots are phenomenal this is macy who is technically either a gray hooded or a brown necked parrot but they belong to the african continent which makes them uh old world world parrots or tropical parrots and uh, they are phenomenal. This is a parrot that is similar to the African Grey in the sense that it is a very aloof parrot. It's also similar to the African Grey in the sense, because I mean, after all, they're like from the same area, right? Um, at least the same country. They are pretty chill. It doesn't, they don't like easily freak out. A lot of parents, if you sneeze and they don't know you, they take off flying. They're like, ah, and they scream. Um, these guys are pretty chill. You could see she's not squawky. They can learn to talk. And generally speaking, I find they're affectionate. They're sweet. I mean, I just, what more can you say about a Cape parrot? Cape parrots are also fabulous if you already have a flock and you're adding a parrot to your flock. Well, I always recommend adding two of the same species to your flock so that they have another one just like them just like if someone was collecting you know creatures and they only had one human you'd really like if they had another human so you could speak to the person you know in a human language this is the same is basically true for them but basically they're phenomenal because uh they can make friends with other species and if they don't the thing is they're not aggressive None of my Cape parrots have ever gone after and bothered another one of my parrots. And when another parrot's aggressive with them, they've got this monster beak and that monster beak is able to kind of let the other bird know, hey, I could hurt you if I wanted. I'm not gonna, but watch it. You have to know what you're dealing with when you're dealing with me. So they're like these incredible peacekeepers kind of thing because none of mine have ever gotten in a fight. They, um, they're they easy in your home because you don't go deaf because they're not super loud. And while like any other parrot, they are kind of messy. I mean, in other words, you know, their feathers come out, not like, but you do find little feathers everywhere, pin feathers, and you find uh, shells to their pistachios or their almonds because you want to give them sh nuts in the shell because they are nut eaters. Um, so, you know, they're messy like a parrot and they poop like a parrot, of course. But generally speaking, I just think that they are really rather phenomenal. If, if there is probably one species that 
takes the cake, I think it would be them. You know, and uh, they're also even kind of special because next to macaws, and macaws are the only parrots that can crack a walnut or a coconut open. Next to them, this is the only parrot species that can get a walnut open. It's kind of phenomenal to see them, you know, grab it. And the walnut is almost the size of their head, right? But they get their beak in there and they crack it open. So I can't say enough. I, um, I just can't say enough. They, um, see what I mean? Um, Macy here, for example, she is just really bonded to me. And so she just always asks me for pets by putting her head down. You can ask me for pets. And look at how pretty she is. This species is sexually dimorphic, which means that the females have that orange on their head. The males don't have it except for when they're born. They all have it when they're born until they are maturing. So you can't tell what gender they are when they're little. You can't tell until they're, oh, around eight months, something like that. That's when the males lose the color uh, and it should stay gone when they are really male and the females, they just should keep the color. So an incredible species, you could see, oh, there she goes. That's the leaning forward for pet. You can see that she's just really sweet and friendly, beautiful. She won't talk right now because she's getting pets and she's just being chill. And while they do make some fun noises and they can make some high pitch noises, it just is so atypical of your typical squawky parrot that if you want a parrot that's not a parrot, <laughs> if you can find a cape parrot, this is going to be a fabulous parrot for you. They are expensive because right now um, you're going to find them for like four to seven thousand, something like that, depending on where you are and those are US prices, but so totally worth it. Just a phenomenal, wonderful, gorgeous, amazing species. And you can see a wonderful size that's easy to live with. Oh, and I forgot, best of all, this honk and amazing beak, they've never bitten us. We have had a couple different capes and not one has ever bitten us. So there you have your ideal parrot. Thank you for joining me in this sweet, calm, quiet, mellow, and blissful parrot video. If you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment below. Um, if your parrot is stressed out, your parrot's probably not a cape, uh, but if you have a cape, you might want this anyway for the hemp oil and for helping strengthen their immune system. Make sure to get Tink's Must Have CBD, um, her parrot relief on Parrot Bliss Dot com. Like I said, it helps them de-stress or if you have a nice, calm, mellow parrot like Macy, then it's really a good um, way to help strengthen their immune system. Thanks and we'll catch you in the next feathered video.